You're probably wondering what I'm doing with the guitar and you might be thinking, what's he got a hammer for? Well, because I've got a strange project I want to do with the guitar and I want to break it to start. Well, of course I didn't break the guitar, it was already broken, but it was just a little bit of, uh, well, I suppose you might glorify it with the term special effect. I might show you how to do that one day. Anyway, so this is a very approximate uh, diagram of a guitar. Um, you've you know, got the basic sort of structure, the dotted bits represent the strutting that you get inside um, the top of a guitar. And I'm pro proposing a completely different approach. So basically the top of the guitar would be uh, unsupported, essentially, um, you know, except for obviously it's connected to the size of the guitar, but there wouldn't be the extra struts. Now the struts are there to provide strength so that when the, the force of the strings are uh, on the guitar, it doesn't snap that very thin wood. You need the thin wood to get the resonance to get, you know, to actually amplify the sound effectively, to make it work really as a guitar. It'd be very dull if it was just entirely solid. Uh, if you've got a friend who's got an electric guitar, um, or you've got one yourself, you'll know that you strum it, and that's basically a solid lump of wood usually, uh, and you can't really hear it very well at all. Um, so it'd be equivalent to that. And I'm just kind of trying to find some hybrid ground. So what I've done is I'm extending the neck inside the body effectively, uh, but entirely separate from the body. And so we need to just zoom in, um, have a little look at that bit, because that's the business end. Now the red bits there are the solid bit, the extension of that neck going up through the top, uh, in a, you know, a little slit in the, the top basically. And so the yellow bits are the top and the saddle of the bridge. So they're free to vibrate. So the yellow ones can vibrate. The red ones can't. And so you get your, your kind of um, strength from the red part um, and the, the vibration, the, the warmth, the tone from the yellow parts, if that makes sense. Don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if it's doable, point number one. Don't know if it uh, is a good idea, point number two. Um, I mean, it makes sense in my head that you're going to free things up in certain ways. Um, and I, I kind of gave the idea to a luthier years ago and heard nothing back from him. Uh, but now with this broken guitar that I've come across, it gives me a chance to mess around in a way that I would never... You know, I, the idea of breaking a guitar in order to... Uh, trying to this sort of experiment is just an appalling idea to me. So I'm not sure quite what I'm going to do, but uh, I have got, you know, bits of guitar to actually make this work. So watch this space, part two coming up when I will have hacked around with that guitar and we'll see where this might lead. <laughs>